What is poppin' y'all? Hope y'all doing great, doing fantastic, all that good stuff. Just made this. Dun, 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 dun. It's kind of hard to see, but that's scalloped potatoes with bacon and ranch. And uh, yeah, it was great. I'm still eating it. But I got a notification that said a package of mine is in the mailbox. So I'm going to go. Well, kind of got dressed just to kind of go out here. But let's go put a coat on and we're going to make our way to the mailbox and uh, see what we got. 12 seconds later. Oh, perfect timing. Uh, Dad brought the mail in. So he brought the package. This is from Trevor, like I was saying. Um, the only thing I won was a gift card. And uh, so I don't know what he sent me. He sent me something else too. So we'll reach in here, see what we got. What is this? <laughs> this is kind of funny. It's a uh, exploding kitten. Okay, this is kind of funny. It has like something inside here. Let me see if you can pull it out. What is this? It's like, <laughs> see what happens. Ah, <laughs> it's like a puking cat. That's, that's crazy. It's funny though. Okay. Okay, so we got this exploding kitten. Uh, I think this is because I technically won the iPhone, but I didn't win the iPhone. Let's see what else is in here. We're looking. We're looking. <clears throat> There's nothing in there. What? Thank you for playing. Uh, hope to see you again soon. Um, it says... Uh, Mystery Amazon gift card. Okay, so, oh, okay. <laughs> There's a mystery code here. Uh, he uh, he sent it like this or whatever. So it's uh, I was like, where does the gift card at? Um, but I guess it's uh, you type this in and you see what it is. So let's figure out what it is. So we're at the Amazon page now. I gotta figure out where to. Uh, you know, I don't even know where to go in this thing and uh, figure out how much this gift card is even worth. I'm not even really sure where to even go to claim this. I've never had one like this before, so I'm just gonna sign in and I'll figure it out from there. I had to go and get like a replacement password. I had to go to thing, I type a code in, and now I can make a new password. Woo! Updated the password, there we go. That's what I'm talking about. Okay, so now we gotta figure out how to... Trevor, if you're watching this, when you send this stuff, Maybe kind of give us like a step-by-step -step how to redeem it. Because I don't know how. Not even, no clue. All right, so, yeah, I'm just dumb. It's clearly right here. You just click on this thing to check your balance. And then there's a button right here. It says redeem a gift card. You click that. And then I just type in the code that he gave me into here. All right, so I got the code in now. I'm going to hit redeem uh, and see how much it's worth. It is $10, as you guys can see right here and right here. Not bad. While I was playing the game, only thing I did was I spent like seven bucks. So it, to get ten dollars, I technically made money by playing it. And then he sent me this like exploding kitten, which is really cool. Um, yeah, pretty neat. And then you can like this thing just goes back and it's mouth and then it, blah. <laughs> but it was pretty cool. Uh, definitely go check out his app. Um, well, it's not an app yet technically. It is a online um, claw machine. Uh, game only for the computer as of right now, but it will be coming out very soon. So if you guys didn't see that video um, Me playing it. Uh, I think he like I said, I think he sent this in place of me winning the AKA Like I didn't technically win it, but there was like a problem with the machine So if you guys play his machine and one of the rubber grippers get like ripped off or whatever And it goes down to the price shoot it does not count as a win the price actually has to physically go down the price shoot um, and that's what happened with the iPhone. Um, it said I won the iPhone, but the rubber gripper fell off and it signaled that I won an iPhone, but uh, I didn't technically win. But we got this, we got the gift card, $10. So I'm up, I'm okay with it. But yeah, so I'm up. <laughs> I spent $7 to make $10, so not a bad day. I know that he's talking about uh, giving me a bunch of credits and stuff like that so we can do a cool live stream. So uh, Trevor, if you're watching this, man, Let's get that thing going and let's get this live stream done. I've uh, been working on my OBS and everything, guys, so it's going to be cool. We'll be able to like, do some kind of cool live stream. Since I got my office computer back up and running, uh, shout out to Josh for that. And uh, yeah, so I'm not too sure what else I'm going to do. I know I'm going to finish my uh, potatoes and then uh, I'll see you guys in a little bit. What's going on, everybody? So jumping around a little bit. Um, last time you guys seen me, I was doing the unboxing or 
uh, what I what I got from Trevor um, from his uh, claw machine game uh, computer thing 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 blah blah blah. But now I'm on my way to work, so don't do that. And if uh, I'm gonna try to do a little bit better, <laughs> I say that, but I'm not making any promises if I'm gonna film at work. But if like something crazy happens or like a fight breaks out or something like that, maybe I'll try to film it for you guys. I don't know, but. Uh, yeah, or something just crazy in general, I'll try to film it. But it's just so weird trying to film at work because with the music and everything else, it's like just asking for copyrights. It's literally just asking for copyrights. So that's normally why if you guys are wondering, like, why don't you ever film at work? Why don't you ever film this? Why don't you ever do that? Like, because it's just, it like so many problems with copyrights. But maybe we'll figure it out. If maybe there's like a fight or something like that or something crazy goes down or something, I'll just like take the audio out of it and then I'll just like, put like funny audio I don't know we'll see all right so there was like only one fight tonight it was a good time though the crowd was awesome no god please no no it was a great uh, atmosphere no seemed like a really good uh, night a great success and then like one minute like literally we had like one minute left until the bar was like shut down and then these like two or three girls had some kind of problem i don't understand why but they've decided they need to have a fight How rude. i tried to pull my camera out but i looked up and then like there was a fight about to happen in front of my dj booth so i had to go take care of that and like make sure that no one messed with my stuff um yeah <laughs> so it was just it was hard to pick up the camera. If there would have been more security standing like right in front of me to make sure that they didn't come into my stuff, um, I would have been okay with it. I would have been like, all right, you know, let me film this. But yeah, it, it happened all so quick and everything. It just was kind of hard to pull out the camera and everything. But all in all though, guys, I'm gonna make my way home now. So I'm just gonna end it there. Keep on keeping on. Don't let me bring it down. See you tomorrow. Peace.